Okay, so I decided that what I would like to do today is just try and beat some bosses I haven't beaten. Um, because I've been seeing a lot of them while I've been editing, or not editing, but posting, um, some, uh, previous videos of mine. And this is one of them, so let's see how this goes. Oh, wow. Well, apparently that kills me in one. But we did a lot of damage. And... Oh, I'll see where this gets me. Um, I'm doing this primarily because, um, you know, you never know what rewards you're going to get, you know? So I've got a little list. And, you know, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe I won't get through much of it at all. Maybe I'll be lucky to get through even one or two. Um, where do you put me? Kind of a dick move to make me walk through some of this. But okay. I'd rather be on that one. I get any further away? He would. Well, hmm. So the tricky thing is, I can totally get further away if I'm willing to be poisoned, but then I'm taking damage from the poison. But I guess since I die in one hit from him anyways, I may as well just keep my distance and use all of my healing to counter the poison. I can't believe that it builds up so fast, even. Wait, 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 wait. There is more I can do. Hold on. What I really need is... Yeah, I need... Raise immunity. It's one of these. Greatly raises immunity. Immunity, focus, and robustness. And non-physical damage, vitality, yeah, those aren't really too important. There we go. Okay. Wait, really? Okay, that kind of sucks. Why? Do these contribute to weight at all? Well, those don't. Okay, that I can handle. Aw, oh, man, I lost my 24,000. Well, what else is new, huh?
Why am I crouching? I have a lot less health than usual. I didn't even see what I got. Um, I got 58,000 though. That would have been nice with the 24,000 I could have leveled up, but uh, who am I kidding? I was very unlikely to uh, take the time to pick up my stuff, I guess. I can get 24,000 pretty fast, right? We're gonna fight a bunch of bosses today, right? That's not what we're doing. Uh, where was that knife I was using? There we go. And I had the jellyfish shield hello 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 where are you there you are yeah I know and my trusty flame and my red hood and my shaman furs and my god's gonna possible bracelets and those are the same links i already had and this was my sore seal and this was my no what was i i know i know i was using this but i kind of don't want to anymore um, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but what was my other, like, standard one? Was it just one of these? I guess it was that. Okay, cool. All right. Um, let's, uh, wait, hold on. Let's see what I got. Um, with some big old sword. I got a lot of those. That might be hard to spot, but it must be a great sword. Um, these are great swords, right? Okay, there's like a lot of different sections of greatsword for some reason. Dragon skill blade. This must be it. A weapon made by sharpening a gravel stone scale thought to be the source of ancient dragon immortality into an unclouded blade. Alas, the dragonkin soldiers never attained immortality and perished as decrepit pale limitations of their skyborn kin. Interesting. Ice lightning sword. Call down a bolt of ice lightning into the blade and bring it down upon a foe. The ice lightning effect will persist for a while. Ice lightning? What does that mean? Um, okay. Ice lightning katana. Um, next stop. Uh, is that place? Oh, what's the closest? Probably this. Maybe this. Nope. I should spend these runes before I do another boss fight. Because losing 24,000 is one thing. Losing 58,000 is something else. I didn't even think about the monetary gain 
involved here. Um, what, what do I... Why am I Jay Leno? What do I need? Sixty-seven. Wow. I need, like, nine thousand. Um, that's fine. I think I probably have that. Yeah. Five thousand. Let's just use three of these and hope it's enough. Um, exactly that, so I need a little bit more. I don't know exactly how much more. Let's just use that. A little bit of overkill, never hurt anybody. Um, 20, 35, 20, 18, 20, 35, 6... 29. Now, I said I was going to do that. Oh, yeah, I will do that because it gets me another two points. After that, I have to start get, I have to start going into intelligence because I would love to someday be big enough to use Azur's Comet and stuff like that just to see what it does. Um, Alright, now we have 1,500. Make sure I'm going in the right direction. Yes, I am. All right, I have zero game plan for this guy, but not a lot to lose. So I'm going to go in. I suppose these dragons also count as bosses I haven't beaten, but I don't really want to beat them. Um, well, do they? If they don't have boss bars, then I suppose they don't count. Do I have to go down there? I don't think so. Yeah, that's my rule of thumb. Well, no, if they never respawn, they kind of still count. They might still give you cool stuff. Um, I don't really want to fight three dragons at once, which I know is a situation that exists up here. Alright, I have to go down this way. I don't like this place. I think that's where the three dragons at once is, right? That crowd over there? Miserable. Someday, someday. You know, I can wait for those guys until I get strong enough to just, like, pick them off like it's no big deal. Alright, very little to lose. Can't even lose our runes here. Um, I'm gonna go with blood to start. And I think this is gonna be a bad time. This guy is really, really fast and annoying, if I remember correctly. And I can't summon. That I forgot. Oh, and he also has blood magic, or something. Jesus Christ. That goes right through me. Oh. Jesus. I am doing shit. Oh, he can dodge those. And that doesn't do a lot. I, I was dodging. Jeez, jeez, jeez. And this fire... What is my... Something's wrong with my health bar. You see that? There's like a little gray thing? Is that because of this fight? Or because of something I did? Is it because I have a Baldigan's Blessing? Do I have a Baldigan's Blessing? I might. The thing is, when do you use a Baldigan's Blessing? I feel like any time that you are confident enough to know that it's, like, worth using a boosting item that... I'm not... I don't have it. Um... Like, this is the... This is the problem I had with the, um... The, like, special blood vials in Bloodborne 2. Even though I realize that they aren't really utilitarian so much as lore-related. Which I guess Baldigan's Blessing are, too. But it's like... It's like... Any time that... What was that? That was different. That was not the normal way that I gain runes. 
That was very weird. Anytime that I am confident that like, okay, this time I have such a good chance at winning that it's worth using the item, um, then it's like I'm so confident that I there's no point to using the item. This guy is insanity. Okay, I have a deficit to my... Oh, man. I have a deficit to my health while I'm on fire with whatever that is. I don't know if I'm in the mood for this. This is a crazy boss. I can see why they were the first people who successfully killed someone. Or, or successfully killed a god, I guess. Because, um, hot damn. How many tries do I give this before I'm like, I am not whatever needs I need to be for this. You know, it's kind of like, will I ever be with this build? Like, because this build is like... My health's not great. I feel like to fight this guy, you'd have to be, like, ultimate pose, ultimate defense, just, like, heavyweight, like, an immovable rock type. Um... Jeez, jeez! Can I even get him to bleed? Trying to dodge. Not really sure why that wasn't working. Oh my god. I don't really understand the range of that. I can't do this. I need to come back when I figure out some sort of magic trick. The, the arena is too small for me to use my range. Um, uh, I just... I. I don't even know if I'm getting enough hits in, like, close enough together to get him to bleed, which is seemingly my, my, seemingly my only hope. I wonder, my blood damage is not doing a lot to him, but I wonder if when he does bleed, he bleeds a lot. Um, maybe he'd be a good guy to try a different weapon on, though. Um, let's, well, the problem is that all of my different weapons are not very high level. Um... Which is probably the only way that I have any hope of getting him is just by being super high level. Um, which might happen someday. Only it's only plus four. Let's let's just see what happens when I do this, because maybe like a big AOE would be useful with this guy. I don't know. Uh, and then after this, I'm giving up. Two can play on the not really fire fire, huh? Where are you? There we go. Oh, wrong weapon. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, fuck this. <laughs> That shit is wild. All right, who else is on my list? Um, ooh, I'm starting to feel bad about this. Uh, Putrid Tree Spirit, I believe. I'm going off memory. I don't want to reach out to where my phone is. If I fell in love with you, would you promise to be true? 
and help me understand cause I've been in love before and I found that love was more than just holding hands now am I gonna remember at all where the boss room is if I gave my heart to you I must be sure Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oi! I don't know where the boss room is. It's probably through here, though. I am not of your concern. There we go. I don't know why I thought it would be anywhere else. This guy's pretty tough, too. Hmm. You know... Maybe I should try sorcery? Don't stare. You're making me nervous. Okay, yes, I get it. I've read these all a million times. <sighs> this one guy's like more tall and intense than all the others. God, and it does Scarlet Rot. I forgot about that part. This one feels doable, though. Maybe just because I've already beat other uh, tree spirits. The other one felt like, yeah, no. I don't think that I have what it takes. This one I feel like I do have what it takes, uh, but that does not mean it will be easy. Um, with 26 minutes left to this episode, I it occurs to me that like it doesn't it doesn't sound like a great idea to like just jump ship and try a different guy because that guy may also be hard, you know? May as well just finish up on this, keep things simple. Jesus. Gotta be really careful with stamina here. my shield up. I think this thing happens sometimes, and I don't really understand it, which is a problem, where, like, I have my shield up in case I don't, in case my dodge doesn't work, and then I also dodge. 
And I think that what is happening is that I'm not performing my dodge at the right time, but because I'm rolling, I don't have my shield up. And so I die. When if I had just chosen one or the other, good timing or shield up, I probably would have been fine. But somehow in my head it's like, because I'm rolling with my shield up, it's like it would hit the shield and have the roll damage uh, thing, like the roll damage canceling, which is really not how it works. Um, that felt like a doable uh, method, though. Um, just patience and watching your stamina. Uh, just better guarding. Um, I think the problem will come in if I get poisoned, but I think that between me and Hughes and the like size of this arena, there's actually some potential here. Jesus. Well, I can see why I skipped this. Um, I mean, maybe I should respec and put everything into intelligence. I just, no, I have to have that high arcane. I want to fight this guy the way that I fought the first one. Just like real close up. Just slashing. But it just seems like a really dumb thing to do when I take... 100% damage from a single hit. Which I think you could also say about doing this boss at all. Nice and open now. Holy shit. Okay, that worked. That dodge was good. Oh. Fire materials. Oh, it's just root risen. All right. Mm, that felt pretty good, but I think not because of the dagger. That felt good because of the dodging and the distance, um, which probably would have been even better with the magic. So let's say that the magic is good. Um, I don't really like that. I don't think my spells, like, indicate how much damage they do to compare to each other. Which is annoying. Um, I kind of like the Glintstone Comet Shard because it does more damage, but then on the other hand, it's a thing where it takes a big wind-up to do the first one, and then the subsequent ones take less. So it behooves you to just keep going and spamming it. This one does less damage per, but the, there isn't the wind-up, so you can take a break and not have a penalty of having to wind back up again. And taking a break is pretty important with this guy. I need to be able to take a break to re-heal stamina, and in order to distance myself or dodge. What do you think? 20 minutes? Place your bets. I mean, I haven't made zero progress. Ah. 
had the wrong weapon. Shoot. Jesus. That's bad. That's bad news. Oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. Okay. Oh, man. I was focused on how I was out of juice. That one felt a little more chaotic. Um... I think the main problem there, which unfortunately is not super easy for me to control completely, is was uh, the relative positioning between me and Hughes. I think ideally me and Hughes would be on opposite sides of him, but Hughes moves around and it's hard for me, and so does the guy. So it's hard for me to like make sure that I'm positioning myself in the right way relative to both of them um, without just spending all of my time repositioning, which can't really do because I have to spend all of my time dodging and attacking. <laughs> Mostly dodging. This run back is very forgiving, which kind of makes it annoying that it's so long. <laughs> I think that was a very well-timed dodge on my part, frankly, but maybe being against the wall made it not work. The thing is, the thing that scares me is that being possible means that it is super likely that I will get to a point where I've got him down to like a very small amount of health and then that'll happen, because that could happen at any moment. Um, and that could really be heartbreaking. Um, people watching may be wondering, why do I do this to myself? Like, the problem is very clearly that your health is way too low for this point in the game. Yeah, you're right. Here's the reason I do this to myself, though, is because I want to experience as much of, the, that, of what the game has to offer as I can. And other stats let me experience more. God damn it. That happening twice in a row is pretty disheartening. Um, I wish I could try, like, fire. Should I try fire? I just don't think I'm going to get a chance. I think I'm going to die or be out of range before I get to do anything here. With the death poker. That hit him? I 
don't think it did. Okay, that did good damage. I don't know how I dodged that. Oh man. Well, that's tempting. That did a lot more damage. I only hit one. Um, I think I need to practice the move set of this a little bit. Um, it seems like that just made a big ball explode, and what I want to do is the one where it does a streak down to the ground, because then while he's sliding around, it could do kind of passive damage, which could be a real cool thing. I also might want to level it up, because I do like this weapon. It's like pretty slow for my style, but it kind of reminds me of using um, the like Fire Tempest and stuff in Dark Souls, which I was pretty into. Like just timing it perfectly with this giant wind up so that right when the enemy got to me, I like did an insane amount of damage. Let's see what I can do in here. Um, Okay, it's the light. That's pretty cool. Let's try it. I think there's promise here. Because that's... Doing more damage could make a pretty big difference. Because I, I can kind of dodge. And I'll get better at dodging. The longer I do this. I'm just going to do this right away. So I don't have to think about it. Fuck you. It'd be cool if there was, like, ghost flame spells. Are there ghost flame spells? You know what? I'm at the point where I'm willing to look that sort of thing up. Ghost flame Elden Ring. Um, explosive ghost flame. That's kind of what I already have. It's a death sorcery. It is. Um, death sorcery. Explosive ghost flame. Ancient death rancor. Oh, that's all ghost flame? And rancor call. Does that require... Of course, 14 faith. I really need to do, like, a proper calculation of, like, how much faith I need to do the stuff I want to do. But then I'm also afraid that like, okay, like like take a ranker call for example. What does it scale with? Does it scale with anything? I don't think that's how it works. It doesn't seem to have scaling. So what what's the equivalent of scaling for it though? It just depends on the thing you use to wield it, which could be anything and then the thing could scale off of it stat you actually are high in. Because I have Ranker Call. But I want to do Ghost Flame. Okay, I'm behind us, so this is good. But whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I didn't realize that's what happened. Jesus Christ. I have Ranker Call. Summons Vengeful Spirits. That does not. I don't know if that is Ghost Flame. Does it say what type of damage it does? Deals magic damage. Meanwhile, let's look at. Ah, <sighs> the Death's Poker. Uh... 
um, causes frost buildup. Is it doing frost damage then? I guess it would be, huh? I was thinking of it as fire. But I guess it's like fire that does ice damage. So, 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 so far I've seen fire that does ice damage, lightning that does ice damage. Is there any, like, ice that does ice damage? <laughs> I still think it's worth summoning. Oh my god, it happened again. I gotta be better at dodging. Ghost Slam Ignition deals 100% magic damage. It can be boosted by wearing the Spell Blade set. Ghost Slam Ignition only scales with Int, and at a much higher rate than the ED scaling would suggest. Okay, cool. I wonder how much strength and dex I need. The annoying thing is you kind of need strength just to have, like, like the equipment, right? I can't catch a break. I pressed the dodge button that time. The other ones I didn't. This one I did. <laughs> Just at the wrong time. Sorry, I'm like walking and reading. This kind of sounds like I could do another move. Maybe? I'm not seeing how to do it. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, he barely grazed me. This is nuts. Okay, here's my new idea with the few, few minutes that I have left. Oh, sorry. Few, few minutes that I have left here. I have five minutes left to try this. I'm clearly not going to defeat him this video. 
Um, I'm not going to summon Hughes this time. I'm going to try to see if the little bit of extra time I get before he comes in would be enough to lay the ground with some of these things. Damn it! Okay, I don't have more than one in me before I need to dodge. But one of those did some damage. It's the charge time that's killing me over here. I mean, that and my poor dodging, but the charge time is not ideal. But still, doing a hell of a lot more damage with this. Maybe I can find what else causes frost buildup. Frostbite sources. Skills and spells. Weapons. Darkman Greatsword. Death's Poker. Wait. Does that just cause frost? In it of itself? No, right? Ghost Flame Torch, right. Oh, right. Hmm. Frozen Needle. Sounds kind of cool. Ice Rain Hatchet, I have that. Or Frost Stomp. Oh my god, the dodge. Still, look at how much damage that did. Chilling Mist, Ghost Flame. Mm. These are skills. Sorceries. Adula's Moonblade, Explosive Ghost Flame, Freezing Mist, Frozen Armament, Glintstone Ice Crag, Ronnie's Dark Moon, Zamor Ice Storm, Borealis Mist, Dragon Ice, Frozen Lightning Spear, Freezing Pot, Roped Freezing Pot. I think I do have Freezing Mist. Do I have it equipped? Don't I have it? Ah. Um. Great Glintstone Shard should be here. That one I don't want. This is Life Sapping Silver Mist. That one I don't want. Fire Semi Invisible Magic Comet. Screw it. That one I can hold on to. That one I can hold on to. That one could be interesting. Don't need it. Freezing Mist. Um. I'll need to switch to that to use that. It's annoying. The Death's Poker almost looks like it's a magic wand. It'd be cool if it was a magic wand that you could also use to do stuff. I think the magic wands should have skills attached to them. Just like freebie spells. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. But I guess that's random. Why would you need to do that? It would be cool if the staffs were more viable as weapons, but maybe they are and I just don't know it. Only standing in there, huh? Oh, 
Holy crap. Well, this is pointless. Oh my god. Well, one freezing mist hit him. That's all I got, though, y'all. See you later.